This is One Sentence News, a daily podcast featuring three news stories with a sentence-long summary and one sentence of context apiece. I'm Colin Wright. It's Thursday, December 23rd, 2021. Let's talk about the news. From Live Science, first long-acting injection to prevent HIV has been approved by the FDA. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved a new drug called Apertude, which is the world's first injectable HIV medication. This drug has many advantages over currently available HIV medications, which are quite effective, but most of which must be taken every day. This injection, in contrast, only needs to be administered every two months after an initial pair of shots spaced one month apart. The drug isn't cheap. It'll cost about $3,700 per dose, which will add up to $22,200 per year. But it's expected to be well-received, as there are people at high risk of contracting HIV who may be willing or able to take this sort of drug, but not if they have to commit to a daily pill. And it offers a 69 to 90 percent reduced risk of catching HIV if exposed, which could be a game changer in some communities. From the New York Times, the White House will freeze federal student loan repayments until May 1st. After a great deal of persistent pressure from Democratic lawmakers, President Biden has announced that a pandemic-era freeze on federal student loan repayments, which was scheduled to end on January 31st, will be extended to May 1st. This freeze was originally implemented by the Trump administration in 2020, and it's been pointed at as one of the reasons the American economy is so strong right now, despite all the tumult of the past nearly two years. Some Democrats have even said that the government should forgive $10,000 or $50,000 or all student debt to liberate a huge chunk of the population from high-interest loans that sometimes follow them around for decades, negatively influencing many aspects of their lives. But the pause alone will allow the approximately 7.2 million Americans who were in default on their loans and about to go into collections the opportunity to potentially avoid that impending economic next step. And from the Wall Street Journal, Pfizer's COVID pill is authorized in U.S. A lot of FDA news today. The FDA has approved the use of Pfizer's antiviral COVID drug, which is taken as a pill for high-risk patients ages 12 and up who have caught COVID and recently developed symptoms. This drug, Paxlovid, will likely now be approved elsewhere around the world as well, because many governments use FDA decisions to inform or guide their own. And this drug is considered to be a big deal because it can be taken at home, and clinical trials have shown that if it's taken within three days after the development of COVID symptoms, it reduces the risk of hospitalization and death by 89%. Importantly, it works against all known variants, including Omicron. If you're finding some value in One Sentence News, consider leaving a quick review wherever you get your podcasts and or sharing the show with a friend. You can find out more about this show or subscribe to the email version at onesentencenews.com. And you can support this and other related projects, like the Let's Know Things and Brain Lenses podcasts, at understandery.com.